Today in our section, starting for the USMLE, we're gonna answer some cardiology questions. So, you're gonna answer one of them with me. So the first thing is that you always have to look forward first to what are they asking you. So here the question is, what findings will most likely be seen in a patient with restrictive cardiomyopathy? After reading the complete case, you realize there is anything else that you can use to answer the question. So we are actually going to go directly to the answers. As you can see, there are three things present in all of them. Preload, contractility, and afterload. When we talk about restricted cardiomyopathy, we always have to think about diastolic dysfunction. This may occur when the hair chambers are stiff and do not relax properly. When this happens, the hair chambers do not fill with blood as they should, and this will decrease the preload. With this in mind, we will eliminate all the answers that mention that the preload is increased. So we just have two possible answers. In both cases, contractility is decreased, so we will focus on the afterload. Think about this. If your contractility is decreased, this means that the little blood within the hair chambers will also be unable to exit. Therefore, the afterload will be increased. So we will choose the answer D. If you like this kind of video, don't forget to smash that like button and also to follow Lecturio.